Hello, so this is going to be another video about lighters and in this one I'm going to look at different categories of lighters and who they might be most suitable for. Because the problem is you seem to get a lot of the time on YouTube people who say X type of lighter is the best lighter. And what they're actually saying is that for my particular needs in a lighter, this type of lighter or this particular brand of lighter is the best one. However, because I've got quite a lot of lighters in my lighter collection, it becomes obvious that there's not really a one-size-fits-all lighter. There's not one lighter that's really good for lighting cigarettes, utility use, you know, survival uses and all things like that, um, that can do absolutely everything. Now, there's definitely lighters better than others that, you know, can multi-roll a few things and are very good at one particular thing. But I'm still yet to find a lighter that I think that's the most perfect lighter ever. That's my EDC lighter. I never want to have a lighter other than that one. It just doesn't really happen. So let's go through the um, lighter types uh, that most people would use or then become a bit more specialised. And we'll talk about the pros and cons. And obviously this is not all of my lighters. Um, but this good, should give you, you know, a good idea. So let's start off with the classic Zippo. This is a brass Zippo, not the uh, regular type one. But as you know from my videos... I prefer this Zippo to the regular Zippo just because the tolerances are a bit tighter. So it's a Zippo windproof, um, obviously you've got your windshield on there. What are these very good for? Well if you are somebody who frequently smokes, um, liquid fuel lighters are brilliant because because you're going to you know, constantly be topping it up every couple of days, it's never really going to run dry. Uh, Zippos are built like tanks so the parts of them last ages. I did a video recently on the pros and cons of Zippos. Um, but if you are a frequent smoker, then most of the cons of a Zippo don't really exist. Um, one thing I'm not going to be recommending in this video is disposable lighters, personally because I don't like them very much. Um, I think it's quite a false economy, you know, especially because the quality of some of those disposable lighters, other than Bix, is quite poor anyway. So often you're buying a lighter that's not going to reliably work, doesn't have much fuel in, and then, you know, you have to throw it away when you're done with it. But there aren't Bix in this either, as I said, no disposable lighters. The quality control is actually fairly good on Bix, but again, I'm not a fan of them because I like lighters that you can refill. So, Zippo, very good if you're a smoker, good for some utility uses because it has got the windproofing on it. Doesn't want to light again now, um, for whatever reason. I think that's just because there's probably not enough liquid fuel soaked into it because, as I said before with Zippos, uh, they tend to run out of fuel quite efficiently, you know, which isn't a great thing. But again, if I was a smoker, I'd be refilling this every few days, but I've quit smoking, so there you go. Um, but the good thing with Zippos, they are built very strongly. They're, they have this iconic sort of classic look to them. I would definitely not think it would fail as long as you're constantly topping it up. So Zippos are very good in that regard. Uh, if you're a frequent smoker um, or you want a lighter for minor utility use, I think Zippos are great. Um, they certainly do that very well. Now out of the liquid fuel lighters, I personally prefer my Imco. Um, the reason I like this is it simply holds fuel much longer than the Zippo does. My brass Zippo holds fuel probably about twice as long as my regular Zippo windproof does. This holds it about twice again. So this can sometimes last a month to two months on a single filling, which is pretty good. I've been over the Imco before. I just like the design more than the Zippo. I like that it lights on opening. I think that's just a really good design. And you can take this bit out and use it like a candle. Obviously, it, you meant to light it and then pull it out, but... Overall, I really like the design of Imco's. It's just a shame Imco went out of business. Though, personally, if I was using a reason for a lighter like the Zippo's, like I was a frequent smoker, I would personally prefer the Imco to the Zippo. But, you know, that's personal preference. Lots of people like the Zippo. Both are excellent lighters. If you can get hold of an Imco, um, either a... This is a 6600 Junior, I believe. Yep. So if you can get hold of a 6600, a 6700 or 6800 genuine Imco ones, they are very good. Um, the other two are bigger than this one, but um, they're all very similar in design. This is like the most primitive of the Imcos, but it was the only one I found refurbished in good condition um, at the time. So what are the other types of lighters people use? Well, one of your most common lighters is your disposable sort of or refillable um, butane lighter. Uh, butane being a gas, it looks like a liquid when it's in the lighter, if you can see that there. Because um, obviously it's compressed inside it. I like the clear clippers the most because you can actually see through. Well, I mean, I prefer the metal ones in terms of general build quality and everything. But the 
the clippers are absolutely excellent lighters, so you refill it at the bottom. You can refill it with cheap butane, it doesn't have to be good butane because the tolerances aren't high enough that it's going to cause problems. Um, the striker and um, gas release switch are right next to each other, so it's really easy to just you know flick them and light them. Uh, if you want to, and get it out. Uh, you've got this, which is like your little pipe tool. You can use this to pack a pipe. Um, you can also use this to obviously release sparks as its own separate thing. And these are replaceable as well if you really wanted to do that. So you can see there why well, that stows into the lighter. So as I've probably said loads of times on this channel, I love clippers just simply because they are such a well-designed lighter. They're completely, you know, built from a utility perspective. You can pack a pipe using the bottom of this. They were actually shaped like that for a reason. Um, you can pa uh, pack um, a pipe or use this as a pipe cleaner or like cigarettes or joints or whatever with that. And that works really well. Um, just, you know, all around these are good lighters. Another cool feature on this is when it, the flame's out like that, if you turn it down, it increases the flame output. Um, like the gas output goes up when the light is put at that angle which makes them even better for lighting stuff. So, really good design. I really like uh, clippers, they're cheap as well. Um, I, in my opinion, if you're going for a regular butane lighter, always go for a clipper. But there are a couple of other options of butane, so I'll show you that now. Out of the cheap lighters I've ever seen, these are probably the best. I mean, ignoring, like, you know, just mass-produced clippers. These are called Torjet lighters. Basically, these are refillable butane lighters, and you can actually check the liquid level in them by turning them that way and then seeing the level. Um, basically, these are jet lighters. You probably can't see the flame all that well on there, but that's a really bright, hot jet lighter flame. Now, these are a really, you know, good design. The reason is I like jet lighters, but the Tor Jets are really cheap jet lighters. So I think you can buy a pack of five of these for normally just over a pound, like it's two or three pounds or something for a pack of five, which is really good when it comes to the price of lighters. Um, it's an adjustable flame as well, the switch is there, which might be a bit hard to see on camera, so if I set it to the opposite direction, you'll see it doesn't really light because it's fully off, which might be good if you're having it in your bag and you don't want it to go off. Then as you adjust it, you can see that changes the size of the flame. So they're really good in that regard. The only issue of Tor Jets is, after quite a few refills and uses, they are going to break, but again, they're cheap, and if you're buying them cheap for multi-packs, that doesn't matter too much. Um, and because it's a jet lighter, technically you should be using refined butane with it, or extra filtered butane, um, not the stuff you'd fill a clipper with. If you fill uh, jet lighters up with the stuff you'd refill clippers with, um, it eventually gunges up the insides because it's not as pure. Um, it's like cheap petrol compared to, you know, the better refined petrol gasoline. If you're putting it in your car, um, you know, or you use Red X, something like that. Again, because Tor Jets are cheap, and you could probably get quite a good few, good few refills out of it before it gunges up, it might just be worth doing that anyway, in my opinion. Um, the problem is, if you get better jet lighters, that's when it's a problem. Now, one of my favourite designs of jet lighters ever are these. This one's a Coney one, but I've seen these called Prof, and apparently there's Eagle. I think it's just a Chinese company that makes these, um, and then they're rebranded. So you've got your gas selector switch there. It's angled, so the flame doesn't go near your fingers, which I like. That means you can also use it at an angle. Um, and what I like as well, obviously, you can see how the liquid level. I always like clear lighters for that reason. So there you go. Um, piezoelectric ignition, or piezoelectric ignition, you can see the jet flame there, very hot. What I really like with these is actually DIY use, so we're going back more into non-smoking utility use. You can use these for smoking, good for lighting cigars as well, because it's a very hot torch flame. But what I really like with these is I've done minor DIY work where I've needed to heat some metal to, you know, get it to bend or something like that. Very easy of a lighter like this, convenient and small. Um, so again, also very windproof. That went out then. Well, it's not working because the watch, uh, you know, kettle never boils. But in theory, um, jet lighters are very windproof, just not when I'm trying to demonstrate them. Okay, so we've got one more type of lighter to show you, um, which can be practical, very impractical, depending on the design. Okay, so electric arc lighters or plasma lighters. This one's the 4HU one, or 4U um, one. It's got an on-off switch on the bottom. Uh, these just simply recharge using a mobile phone recharger. Now, these are really good lighters, well, this particular brand is anyway, because, as I said before, with this brand, the electrodes are really easy to get at. Um, 
you know where the arcs are so you can actually light things practically with them um, it's got a magnetic opening thing that keeps it open and closed which is good um, this is not a stupid design shape so it sits in the pocket easily my major gripe with lots of electric arc lighters were they could light cigarettes fine and then they couldn't really do much else because the opening for them was really stupid lots of them had these lids that would cut off if they you know were too far closed um, you had to have the lid on there if you ripped the lid off the lighter wouldn't work it was a safety mechanism um, and you know the electrodes are really hard to get out this one they've got around that by having an on off switch on the bottom a much better idea and then the ignition switch is this um, so what's really good about these lighters is if you are lighting stuff with them although they do make a bit of ozone which you can actually smell when they're burning they don't obviously have fuel now with things like liquid fuel lighters they leave a taste on whatever you're smoking so with nice tobacco it's not really a you know good thing butane especially if you're using refined butane from a high power jet lighter you're not going to taste too much but these are the best in terms of not spoiling the taste of tobacco or something like that um, in that regard now if you get an electric arc lighter with a design like this they're brilliant because you can recharge them easily um, and they can light pretty much anything and they do burn things very very quickly the problem is lots have stupid designs in terms of um, they've got an accessible electrode or whatever you want to call it an arc but the lighters built like a really long stick which is impractical if you want to keep it in your pocket or they've got the designs where they're a nice compact lighter but you can't barely get at the um, you know arc to light anything and the problem is lots of them advertise themselves like you can use it as a utility lighter or you can light candles with it you can light incense with it you can like a light a cigarette with it you know you could start a bonfire in your garden with it but you can't because of the stupid design this one's the only one I've seen where it's got a practical design now some people don't like the high-pitched noise they make I'm gonna say they always sound worse on the YouTube videos than they do in person I think it's like compression of <coughs> my voice is going compression of sound kind of thing but in reality these are pretty good if you get a design like this I really can't complain about this but anyway hopefully this video has illustrated that there's lots of different types of lighter designs around that have pros and cons compared to others some are better designed than others like you can get the jet lighters that are the survival ones with really hard cases and um, you know um, like the floating ones that are waterproof yeah really good I've got one of those um, but all in all what you want from a lighter is going to affect how well it works for you which should be obvious but for some people it's really not they say Zippo's are the best lighters ever, Zippo's can do everything you know Zippo 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 or Clipper's the best lighter, Clipper can do everything over one nothing a Clipper can't do well one thing Clipper can't do <laughs> blows out really easily right um, so there you go um, that's this video hopefully um, it lets you get an informed decision about what certain lighters can and can't do